everyone and welcome back to the Talk Mom channel. Now, if you have been following my sort of pregnancy, uh, trying to conceive journey so far, then I have a really, really positive update for you because I am actually pregnant. Now, um, it's been a while since I last posted. Um, I'm actually, ooh, how many weeks am I now? I'm 18 weeks pregnant now. And I haven't been keeping it from you like a sordid secret. Um, obviously, when you are in the early stages of pregnancy, it's a really big deal to talk about being pregnant because you're scared, like, you know, you want to get to that first scan and check that everything is okay. But thankfully it is, which is amazing news. Um, and here I am now and not only that I can really fast forward in our story because we have found out the gender too so you get to find all of this out at once whereas I've been waiting weeks and weeks and weeks to get to this point but we are having a little girl so I already have a little boy anyway and um, he was actually having a nap at the moment so he's upstairs sleeping which is why this video is nice and peaceful um but we're gonna have one of each isn't that amazing i can't actually believe it so that is where i'm at now now i've obviously moved on from taking pregnant care conception you'll have to excuse the uh light show behind me i was trying to be a little bit festive because it's coming up to december now um but yeah i've moved on from taking pregnant care conception and i am now on pregnant care original so i've been taking the tablets every single day um which I just, I love to do anyway. My midwife always recommends pregnant care to me, so I just do it. And it's kind of like my morning ritual every morning. I come down and get ready, and I always have a glass of orange juice and some toast or some cereal, and I take my pregnant care. Now, in terms of symptoms, um, obviously my biggest si symptom was morning sickness at the time. I actually had it for about 16, well, up to 16 weeks, so that will have been around 11 weeks of sickness because it started when I was five weeks pregnant so yay for me but the good news is I am feeling so much better um the one thing that really helped me though um was this is new actually so I don't know if any of you have seen it yet so that's why I'm including it but it's pregnant care liquid now I'm just going to show you that now so you can see um but basically I don't know about you but when I was really sick I sometimes find it hard to keep anything down um so I started trying this and it was a lot easier to sort of stomach when I was feeling really bad um and it tastes like oranges too and it reminded me of the vitamin um like sort of like syrup that I used to take when I was a child so it was a little bit like of a blast from the past almost as well um so in terms of everything else, I'm, I'm in a good stage now. I'm like in the second trimester and absolutely loving it. And I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm still craving some strange things. Cheese is a massive one. You could give me a block of cheese and I will be the happiest lady in the world. It's also the same with yogurt and milk and things like that as well. I have gone off... Um, quite a lot of like meats aside from things like bacon or red meat so I'm not really sure what that means um I have heard that if you crave a lot of cheese it could be like a calcium deficiency or something that you need there so that's quite interesting but other than that I'm feeling pretty good now <laughs> um so yeah I I guess all of you are probably going to want to see my belly uh, because I have one now and I look pregnant and it's really, really nice to be able to flaunt it and rub my tummy. I don't know if you used to do that or if you have and you're, you're pregnant at the moment and you're doing it now, but I have got this obsession with rubbing my tummy all the time and just walking around and being all like, oh, I'm pregnant and it's lovely. Um, I'm feeling a move as well, which is absolutely incredible. I know I've had a baby before, but it does not get old. This feeling is always going to be one of my favourites that I'll ever experience in life. But I will stop babbling and show you this tummy. So one second, I'll just sort myself out and then you can have a look. So this is my 18 week belly. I'll move my shirt out of the way so you can get a proper look. Uh, that is how I'm looking now and I feel like... I'm definitely bigger this time round than I was with my little boy. Um, and here it is from the front. I'm definitely egg shaped now, as you can see. And this is it from the other side. So, 
yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for Talk Mum and Pride the Care for having me as always. I hope that you will click subscribe, give this a thumbs up and stay tuned because I will be sharing my journey um, all the way, way up until she's here as well. So you'll get to like meet her and all of that jazz. So I'm really excited. That won't be until April. I'm due on April the 19th. So we've a while to wait yet, but hang in there. <laughs> And she'll hopefully be here before we know it. At least we've got Christmas to get through first, which will be nice. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.